let the candle, let the light, let Jesus be above you, not anything, not your family, not the money, not your church, not your pastor, not your denomination, not your relationships, not your finances, nothing should be over you because you are called to be the candlestick and the candle has to be on you. That is the purpose God has called us to do. And I believe that in the end days, the revival is going to come through the word of God. If anybody believe, clap your hands and give glory to God. The revival in the end days is coming through the word of God. Greetings to you in the most precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Lord has saved me when I was 11 years old. While we sat in a family prayer, the light of the Lord came upon me and uh, the Holy Spirit convinced me that I'm a sinner and I wept for 15 minutes or so and confessed my sins and gave my life to Jesus Christ. Since that encounter with the Lord, I had a great desire for His Word. So I started to read the Bible every day, like about 40 chapters a day, or even more like that. And one day while I was reading, I felt the Lord is calling me to His ministry. And the Lord has confirmed me His calling through Matthew chapter 28, last verses where Jesus gave a great commission to go into all nations to preach the gospel and to teach all that he has commanded us to do. So at the age of 14, I decided to go to the Bible seminary. And by the grace of God, uh, I went to Bible seminary at the age of 14, and I got my bachelor's in theology and uh, master's in divinity uh, from Bible colleges in India. I had a lot of time to read the Bible, to memorize the Bible, and to meditate the Bible. And the Holy Spirit taught me to pray according to His Word. The practice of memorizing the scriptures has helped me to pray according to His Word and to worship the Lord according to His Word. So while I was doing that, one day the Lord inspired me to write a book on prayer praying according to the Word of God. Because in India, many people who accept Christ from other religions, they don't know what to pray. Most of the time, you know, many people, they just go to a temple or a place of worship, and they just ask God what they desire. That's all the prayer. But as I read Bible, as I memorized the scriptures, and as I meditated on the Word of God, I saw some amazing spiritual prayers in the Bible. So uh, what I did was I wrote all those prayers in a book and I used to pray those prayers. And as I read the Bible, I pray the Word. So the Lord inspired me to write that book and uh, uh, that is called Meaningful Prayer, Praying According to the Word of God. And the second book is Meaningful Worship, Worshiping God according to the Word of God and those both books are available uh, at the table and uh, we brought uh, over a thousand books for you and uh, I request everyone to take a copy of our books uh, we are giving them for free of cost our desire is to see people get closer to God live a life that is pleasing to our Heavenly Father and I believe that is only possible with the Word of God. And uh, I have a book for kids called Animals and Birds of the Bible. It's a pictorial book. Uh, there are 30 lessons from 30 animals and birds of the Bible which a child can learn and pray. So uh, I also invite you to take a copy of that book and give it to your child or your grandchild or uh, someone you know, and I believe definitely they will be a blessing. By the grace of God, I have memorized all 22 chapters of the book of Revelation. So at least uh, twice in a week, I recite them and I meditate on them. 
The first revelation that God has given me from the book of Revelation, first chapter is uh, verse 20. The mystery of the seven candlesticks which the sawest are seven churches. The Lord has compared his church with the candlestick. And I believe every one of us who believes in Jesus Christ is a candlestick. And the purpose of the candlestick is to stick to the lamp or the candle. If there is no candle on the candlestick, there is no use for the candlestick. And I believe the purpose of the church and the purpose of every believer is to stick to the word of God. And we all know the candle is the word of God. Because King David said in Psalm 119, 105, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet. So the candlestick is the church and the lamp or the candle is the word of God. And what is the purpose of the candle or the lamp? We know the purpose of the lamp is to give light. And Jesus is the light we see here. And Jesus also clearly said that, I am come into this world as a light that who believes in me shall not abide in darkness. And I have learned from the scriptures, from memorizing the scriptures, from meditating the scriptures, that if a believer has to live a life that is pleasing to our Heavenly Father, if a believer has to walk in the light as God is the light, we have to be the candlestick, and a believer has to stick to the Word of God. If you stick to the Word of God, the lamp will be on the candlestick. Once the lamp is on the candlestick, then the light will blow or glow. And that's what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, when he spoke on the Sermon on the Mount, Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. So Jesus is telling the purpose of the lamp is to be kept on a candlestick, not under a bushel, in Luke chapter 8, verses 16, there the word of God says, not under a bed or not in a vessel. But we see nowadays, many churches, many believers are keeping God's word under bed. Many churches in India and around the world, instead of sticking to the light, they stick to their doctrine or their belief or their pasture or their denomination. But the purpose of the church is very much clearly revealed in the book of Revelation where when Jesus said the mystery of the candlestick is the church. So if we are the candlestick, I want us to examine this night is the lamp is above us. To whom are we giving priority? Is the lamp is upon us, is under us. And the purpose of memorizing scriptures is to meditate God's word day and night. We know Psalm 1 very well where the word of God says, Blessed is the person who rejoices in the word of God, and also who meditates on it day and night. I want you to think for a moment. We all need rest. We all sleep on bed. But most of the Christians who doesn't to be a candlestick, their lives are like, a lamp under their bed when they sleep. 
But if you keep God's word in your heart, and if you, if you be the candlestick, and if you stick to the candle, and if you give priority to the word of God, and if you are subject to the word of God, and if you are living under the authority of the word of God, even when you sleep, the word of God, the lamp, the candle, the light will be on your head, not under your bed. So why we memorize scriptures? It's not because, you know, to boast that I have memorized the whole book of Revelation. No, that's not the purpose. The purpose of memorizing scriptures is to meditate day and night. If you don't memorize scriptures, you can only meditate daytime. So, I encourage you to be the candlestick. Let the candle, let the light, let Jesus be above you. Not anything. Not your family. Not the money. Not your church. Not your pastor. Not your denomination. Not your relationships. Not your finances. Nothing should be over you. Because you are called to be the candlestick. And the candle has to be on you. That is the purpose God has called us to do. And I believe that in the end days, the revival is going to come through the word of God. If anybody believe, clap your hands and give glory to God. The revival in the end days is coming through the word of God. And we have heard about the revivals in the past through the healings and through the miracles and through the deliverances from the demons. Yes, I do believe in them, but I believe in the end days the revival is going to come through the God's word because his word is not going to pass away. The heaven and earth may pass away, but his word is not going to pass away. The grass withers and the flower fadeth, but his word shall not pass away, fadeth away. So let the word of God be above you. Give priority to the word of God. Memorizing is good, but meditate on it. Not only on the day, but meditate even on the night, even when you are on the bed. In our spiritual lives, many times, we sin in bed. We think bad thoughts on bed. But if you have God's word in your heart, even on the bed, the word of God will be on your head, not under bed. Jesus said, no man will do that. But it is so sad, many Christians do keep the candle, the lamp, the Jesus under their bed. Let the word of God be in our head so that we meditate it. Let us be the candlestick. Let us be a light unto the world. Let the world see Jesus in us. He's coming soon. Let us shine for Jesus.